In December, I only got to fish once, and that was on the Animus. As some of you know, I have been really busy, and between all my jobs and my wife's job, it just doesn't leave much time to fish. That being said, this was one of the better trips on the Animus I've had in a long time. I started off fishing here, by the fishery. There is a nice little run into a deep pool. It looked really promising, however I fished it for a good half hour without a single bite. So I moved down river to this spot right under the bridge. This also looked really good with a small run into a deeper, slower section. However, not a fish to be found here either. Then I came down to this spot, which didn't look as good as the others, but I tried it anyway. It was really hard to keep footing here as well. I was standing on a sunken log and leaning up against this large rock for balance. Otherwise, I would have been way too deep to wade. But the difficult spot paid off and I hooked into a trout. No monster, but a fun fight for sure. Even though he wasn't big, he was a very beautiful fish. I mean, look at that color. What I caught him on was this caddis pattern called the GTI caddis. Later this week I am releasing a tying video on how to tie this pattern. So I decided to keep fishing with the same fly and at the same spot. And sure enough, I hooked into another fish. Alright, this one was a bit bigger. And I wasn't sure about landing him with this three weight rod. Especially since I was stuck behind this rock and couldn't really run downstream after him. But luckily he decided to start swimming back upstream towards me. And not run downstream. A close save with him headed towards the rock. I could have lost him, and he could have banged himself up. But what a nice fish. Not huge, but really pretty. And a pretty decent size around 17 to 18 inches. And also, the fish on the Animus fight really hard. Much harder than on the San Juan. So I kept fishing, and hooked even another fish on the same pattern. This guy was a bit more spunky than the last two but not as large as the second fish. Well, that was a mistake. Sorry, fish. He literally jumped in and back out of the net, but right up onto the rock. Not really my fault, but I still feel horrible. Hopefully it wasn't injured too bad. A beautiful little spunky rainbow. Well after that fish I got a call from Carter that he was heading down. So I packed up and walked up to meet him. When I got there, we saw the train coming by. And this is one of the coolest parts about living in Durango. A true old fashioned steam locomotive. And I hear it's one of the last operating steam trains.
Well, unfortunately, we didn't catch any more fish after Carter met with me, so I didn't really film a ton more. But we also weren't really able to fish much longer either. Still a great day for me, and a good time catching up with a friend. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.